Now I can go spend money that I don't need to spend. Oh God! Without him knowing I'm about gonna, it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting up a sale sign on your car as soon as we get home. <laughs> Welcome to Eat with Us. I'm Steve. This is Cam. Today we went to Firehouse Subs. Right. Last week we rolled the dice and we came up with steak and subs. And Heidi wrote in that she wanted us to do Philly cheesesteaks. So we went to Firehouse Subs and we didn't get the Philly cheesesteak. Sorry, Heidi. Uh -huh. But they did have another really good looking steak sandwich that we did get and we got something else. I don't know which one's which, Cam. All right, so let's see if we can figure this out. I like this box. That's really uh, pretty cool for transport, huh? It says Firehouse Subs right on the front. This one is, that's the steak, yeah. It's a brisket steak one and they put a pickle on the side, literally on the side. This one's even heavier than the brisket and cheese one. Yeah, so this one is the Cajun chicken. It's the spicy Cajun chicken, and I cannot wait to get into that. Yeah, right. wow. Woo. Okay, so this, what he got is the smokehouse beef and cheddar brisket. It's a uh, USDA choice beef brisket, smoked for up to 16 hours, cheddar, mayo, and barbecue sauce. Oh my, did you add anything to it too? Uh, banana peppers, some onions, um, I don't know, a couple other things. You'll see when, when you bite into it. Oh, okay, this is just half of it, but they had three different sizes you yeah. could choose from, so we got the large, and uh, what did it say was in there? It was a steakhouse beef, beef brisket. Okay, so it's beef brisket, cheese, mayo, and barbecue sauce. Mm. And then he added some banana peppers. That looks good. Take some onion. Well, you want to go in first? Yeah, I can take a bite. Sure. Let's go. Oh, man, that, that really does look like a lot of... That's I don't know if you actually see that, but there, there's the meat right there. Okay. And here it we go. It smells are. good. I don't see this, but OMG. Oh, wow. Mm. There's onion. I love onion. I love onion. That's a freaking winner. Mmm. Some little green peppers there. Yes, I got green peppers. That was it, too. I got that. Onions. Mm-hmm. Man, I like this. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. I don't usually go for a barbecue flavored sandwiches. And if wow. I'm being honest, I probably wouldn't go there to order that for my taste. But if you like a steak sandwich, that's really, really good. It's freaking awesome. Yes. Mm. Brought my water from home. Oh. And we also got from the firehouse subs, it's not marked, an unmarked uh, <laughs> large uh, Coke Zero, which mm -hmm. actually the mix in this Coke Zero is very good. Time to get into the spicy Cajun chicken. Oh, and his sandwich, by the way, he got it on white bread. Mm -hmm. And he got a pickle too. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I get another napkin? Absolutely. There you go. Oh, no. They were a little stingy on napkins, which is going to be uh, trouble in a minute. Mm -hmm. Or less. There is the spicy Cajun chicken sandwich. In the spicy Cajun chicken sandwich, we have grilled Cajun chicken breast, pepper jack, jalapenos, lettuce, onion, deli mustard, and Cajun mayo, mm. and you also added a couple of things. No, I, you did. no, I said I just want it exactly the way it is on the menu. Very nice. I did like those options though that they had. I like the way that they had it right next to the register, so you could just look and decide if you wanted something right away. All right, I'm going in. Go in. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm. It's all that. Going in. Mm. 
I would go back for that, definitely. That's the one. That is so good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Those jalapenos are nice and spicy. Mmm. Sometimes you get jalapenos at a restaurant and they're not the spicy ones. Mmm. But these ones are very spicy. Oh, they're good. Mmm. Some of that spicy Cajun mayo. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking Firehouse subs. Mm. I am. I'm gonna bite. Yeah, we don't have one right around the corner from us. Mm -hmm. So it's like 10 miles away. So we never go. We went a few years ago and we really liked it. I can't even remember what we had. But it was awesome. Yeah, this, this is always a good mm. choice. Firehouse, we'll be going back there. I think you brought home a meatball sub that one time. I brought two. I brought two sandwiches, mm -hmm. and we, um, we each ate a half, and then the next day we brought the other half to our lunches, mm -hmm. respectively. That's right. <laughs> I can't remember what we got. Well, mm. so our new rating system, as you know if you've been watching, is whether or not it's worth it for us to get dressed properly to get into our cars, leave our house, get into our car, and go get one of these sandwiches. So, for me, if I'm, you know, if it's a day off and I'm at home, I'm just in my jammies all day. So, my rating scale is one to five bras. So, how many bras would I be willing to put on to get in my car, leave my house, and go get one of these sandwiches? So, for the steak one, the brisket one, I'd probably put on three bras. It's it's a good sandwich. It's a really good sandwich, but it's not my favorite flavor profile. You know, the, the barbecue and the steak. But this one, I'd give this one four and a half bras. I would actually actively choose to get dressed and go out to get this. It's really that good. Seeing as though she had to describe what she has to do, me, <laughs> look, this sounds like I don't wear pants, but I do. Okay. <laughs> How many pairs of pants would I put on to get a firehouse sub? Well, in this case, with the brisket, I'd say four. I'd give it a four pair of pants um, score. There you go. Okay, and with the uh, Cajun chicken, I'd probably also give it a four. Okay, Th these are very different flavors. But they're so damn good. I'm going to say it like that. They're just so damn good. They are pretty damn they, good. They are. I, I like them. And also, I, I sometimes I feel a little bit cheated on these fountain drinks, but I said this is a really good mix. They uh, they got it correct. It tastes like a bottle of Coke Zero, so it's one of them Phantom machines. I usually like getting the you know other flavors, but because um, it's Eat with us with uh, Steve and Cam or Cam and Steve, she really likes regular Coke Zero, so I I, I put you first there. Cam. Thank you, Stevie. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Mmm. But don't you want a Fanta? <laughs> don't want a Fanta. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> That's it for the, you know, the formal review part of this video. Now we're just going to sit here and finish eating our lunches. I don't know if I'm going to eat the whole sandwich. Might save the other half for later. I don't know about you and yours. Whatever. Saving the other half for later. It's, um, <laughs> it's a lot to eat and it, it is delicious. So I'm pretty happy about but this. But you are welcome to hang out and eat with us if you like. But if you're out of here at this point, you know, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. If you are going to stick around, you can watch us throw the dice at the end. And we'll try to figure out what we're going to be going to eat next weekend. All right? <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks Bye -bye. for watching. Bye-bye. And, and we're back. back. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a special day because Cam's uh, car has been in the shop for like three weeks because um, she got rear-ended mm -hmm. by some nice guy in a Denali that was uh, texting. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. anyway, I'm really glad she got her car back. It, it wasn't a bad accident, but you know she had to have uh, the back end, you know, the door and the bumper and stuff replaced. And it, they did a good job, by the way. Um, difficult dealing with the people that uh, were running the place, but other than that, <laughs> they did a very good job.
I am very happy to have my car back. This is my independence, my freedom. <laughs> mm. I've been driving her to work, mm. then going to work, then I come pick her up at the end of the day. So I've been doing that the last two weeks. I'm kind of happy that, uh, I thought I don't have to do that like um, all the time. Although we had a lot of fun, right? I kind of liked being chauffeured around. It was kind of nice. A little more together time. It also gave me a reason not to skip out of work early because I knew I couldn't get out of work until he comes to get me. Mm. So. You still walked home a couple of times. I did. I did. <laughs> it's not too far. It's only, um, I'm only about, it's two and a half miles straight line, but there's a certain part of the road that is highly unsafe mm. to walk on. So I have to go inwards a little bit, which adds another half mile to the route. But I will take that over a mile and a half of safety hazard on that one road. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like your bread. I know. I didn't say that in the main part of the video, but um, I ordered the wheat bread and Steve got the white bread. And I think the white bread holds up a little better. Um, to all the wet ingredients, all the moist ingredients. Like this has kind of become a little bit on the spongy side, but that is more like a baguette kind of, mm. like a, I don't know, it's more of a it's Very much crust. like that. Yeah, it's very much like yeah. a baguette. Mm -hmm. But I could eat this sandwich all day, every day. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Mm-hmm. I think four and a half stars, that's my highest, uh, four and a half bras. Mm. That's my highest rating so far. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's gonna have to really be something to hit a five on anything. For me, giving these a rating of four, I've never said four for anything so far. Mm. So they actually really are good. I like the different choices of buns that you could have too. They had a, like a toasted garlic bun you could have had it had mm. with your sandwich. Pickle on the side. Oh yeah, where's the rest of my pickle? Yeah, I like this. I like having pickles. It's a good pickle. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about. I'm just, the only thing on my mind is that I'm very happy to have my car back. That's really the only thing that I'm thinking about. It is a really big deal. It's great. Mm-hmm. Now I can go shopping without him having to know about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, where'd all this stuff come from? <laughs> <laughs> now I can go spend money that I don't need to spend. Oh God. Without him knowing I'm about gonna, it. I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm, I'm putting a for sale sign on your car as soon as we get home. Ooh, that brisket sandwich costs $14.19. Mm-hmm. And the Cajun chicken sandwich was $12.69 for the large sizes. We've got the large sizes. Oh. And then the soda, $2.99. Oh, and you rounded up for the donation? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of places now they'll ask if you want to round up to the next dollar for to donate. And I also gave them a little tip too. Oh, okay. Um, the brisket, it was uh, cooked for 16 hours. Mm-hmm. And it, it's extremely tender. It's really, really beefy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you like barbecue on your sandwiches? Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually that's probably the best barbecue sandwich I've ever had. And I've had a lot of them. Mm-hmm. This is just a piece of the brisket. I think the next time I go there, they got one. It's like a corned beef and pastrami sandwich. You know, and I'm originally from Brooklyn. And we live in Florida, and it's almost impossible to get a really good one down here. So I might throw it up against that. Throw it up. Because I, I know I know how, how those are supposed to taste. <laughs> but they don't have any rye though. That's the thing. I wish they had mm. rye. I don't want Florida rye bread. I want New York City rye bread. But still, I think it's worth trying out. You know, if I go back there, I think I would try the um, Jamaican jerk turkey. Because I was kind of hemming and hawing between this one, the spicy Cajun versus the Jamaican jerk. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a jerk. <laughs> You're mean to me. Help, oh, call the police. Who's mean? The Firehouse Hero sounds pretty good. It's got roast beef, turkey breast, honey ham, provolone, lettuce, tomato, onion, mayo, and deli mustard. Mm -hmm. I don't think there was anything, like I read every single sandwich 
And I was thinking, well, I don't think there's any way you can go wrong mm. with anything. And you can customize, yeah. too. You can do a custom sub, too. You don't have to order one of their menu subs. Would you like some Coke? <laughs> Gotta get some more napkins, though. Mm -hmm. I usually keep a bunch of napkins in my glove box, but I emptied the car out when I dropped it off, so now there's nothing extra in this car. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna throw my phone right out the window. It, it's it's starting to go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn it off. This happens every day. He'll have a whole string of texts from either his guys at work or his brothers, and they just don't stop. They just keep going and going and going. It's like, just silence it. And the worst part is when we're at home and he leaves it out in the living room, but he's in his office, his room, working with the door closed. So I get to enjoy that bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. And I just want to go out and take a hammer to his phone. Rude. There we go. I you love it. See, see bliss. Marital bliss. <laughs> we're coming up on 21 years of marital bliss. And there was much rejoicing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is my other half of my sandwich, and I will be taking that, and then I will probably be having that later on tonight for dinner. And uh, this is the other half of my sandwich, and I'll try to open it up, but the cheese might be trying to glue it together. I don't know if you can all see that, but there it is. So, yes, and I, too, shall be having that for my dinner. I might sneak a bite of it later. You don't touch my sandwich. <laughs> How dare you? I really do like these <laughs> containers. Once again, we're gonna roll the dice. And each one of these has something different on it, like seafood, chicken, subs, burgers, uh, Chinese, and pizza. And then this other one here has breakfast, sushi, pasta, wild card, and steak, and Mexican. All right. All right, you rolled last week, so I'm doing it this week. Yep. All right, I hope it's Mexican. Wild card and pizza. So you guys, if you would comment below, do you want us to go do a pizza or wild card? I guess it could just be anything. Um, let us know below in the comments what you think we should get next week. <laughs> Bye, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Yes, thank you.